When I first started using this app, my attention was immediately dragged to this bottom toolbar here. Of course, if we tap the record, you already know what's going to happen. It will start recording. And yes, it has the transcribe feature. But there are other two ways to capture information. We'll get there in a moment. Because sometimes recording, is, it's not convenient or it's easier to just take notes or take a picture. OK, so let's stop this for a moment and use another feature. Since we are here, I want to show you this other feature. As you can see here, there's this switch to background transcription. So let's do this. And while it is transcribing what we just recorded, let's take a look at the other two options. So we have the keyboard here. Of course, I can type something. That's what the keyboard means. And I also have this plus icon here, which will allow us to choose a picture from our uh, uh, camera roll. Or we can take a picture. I'm going to take this picture here, select it. Yes. Let's go back. While we were doing all that, remember the transcription was going on in the background. So let's take a look at that because I want to show you one more thing that we can do. And then we can take a look at all the other features. Here we can add additional notes. It can be a recording or I can type. So let's add the rest of the script. I'm going to paste it to make it easier. Let's uh, add the rest of the script, what I was talking right now. So we have now the complete information. Oh, but before we move ahead, remember that plus menu has a third icon. So let's take a look at that. Here it is, voice. This one here is not voice recording. You can select a file to upload uh, to uh, idea shell. I'm not going to show you this screen because I have to go through my files. This is my real uh, phone. So I'm just going to select it here. This was something I recorded uh, directly using Google Recorder and I'm now uploading it to be uh, transcribed here. Okay, now that we know how to capture information, it's important to understand how to find our information, right? Because look at this. This is a beautiful journal-like interface, I'm pretty sure you'll be adding a lot of notes to this. So talking about notes, let's type here the search box. We'll get to the AI in a moment, but for now let's type note. So it's now filtering, showing us all the notes with the uh, note uh, word on it. So let's choose this one here. And inside the notes, uh, we can also, let's tap this one here, we can also add tags. We can now add our own tags or we can add some of the tags suggested by the app. So let's use this one here, transcription. So now we have productivity and transcription. So done. Let's go back to the main page and tap the sandwich menu here and as you can see here, we can tap this to expand the tags. And if we go to, let's say, productivity, let's go to transcription because this is the one we add. We can find that same note using tags. So let's choose another one here, uh, productivity. It's that one, the same one. If we tap here, you see that there is productivity and transcription. This one at the top has recording. So let's choose that recording. And there are two notes. Oh, this is the one. I recorded the, the, the audio I uploaded that I recorded on the Android. So it's already transcribed too. So these are ways to organize your notes. But there's another way to organize information here. Maybe you don't want to keep uh, a note visible. For example, this one here, uh, the Android one. Let's say you want to hide this note. You don't want it inside the timeline. You can tap this top menu here where you will find other options here. You can edit the title, you can add an image. If we tap here, you see that you can choose an image or uh, take a picture and delete, report an issue. But what we are looking for here is hide. So I'm going to hide this note. And if we go back to the sandwich menu here, the I, I never know if this is the sandwich or hamburger menu. <laughs> but if we tap here, now we can see that hidden note. And of course, I can tap here and unhide that note. Let's say you prefer to keep your timeline in a different app. Did you see what I did there? 
<laughs> okay, let's go to this note here. There are two options to use information, use notes from uh, Idea Shell. You can tap here to copy this note and do whatever you want with that, paste it anywhere, or you can tap here to send this text to another app. Let's choose Obsidian here. And what about creating a daily node? How cool is that? <laughs> you can record it in Idea Shell, keep a backup there and send it to Obsidian or the other way around. Let's say you are uh, you prefer to use Idea Shell, but you want to keep a backup in Obsidian. So this is it. But you know what? You'll be probably taking multiple notes using Idea Shell. And what if you want to send another note to that same note in Obsidian? Let's select this other one here, do the same thing, select Obsidian. And as you can see down here, you have the option to choose a note. This is the one we just used, so it's it's here, uh, it's on screen, so that's the one we will choose. But you can choose another file to save that. So let's choose the same one, and here it is. It added the note below the one we have already uh, created in Obsidian. What about a picture? <laughs> let's choose this one here. Uh, Obsidian. And now we can import this picture to the vault. I, I'm importing it to my default folder, which is the files folder. And now I can insert this to the same node. So I can keep adding information, notes, and pictures to uh, my daily node in Obsidian. Again, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> Back to the note here, you can see that there are some cards, some boxes below the note. Let's choose one of these cards here and then I'll show you how to create your own card. So let's organize this into a to-do list. So tap here, organize the above items into a to-do item, to-do to-do items, and here it is. So this is, let's see how it how it did. Show how to record audio note, transcribe feature, demonstrate how to write notes using the keyboard, collect pictures and audio, uh, show ways to organize it. Oh, we did all this. So let's check this, this, this. Okay, and we are now uh, trying the AI features. Okay, let's go back here. Now let's go to this older note here. I'll show you how to create your own cards. So if we, if we go to the end here, there's this option here, customize. And then I'm gonna just paste the text that I wrote and that's it. So here it is. And let's see how it did. Experience the convenience of capturing your thoughts with voice tools, record, type, or take photos, making it easier than ever to jot down ideas. I think this is a good one. Maybe I will use it to share this video. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. And now if we go to another node, let's go to this one here and tap here, we have that same card to use. So let's create Let's create a summary of this other one here. Discover how, how to efficiently record audio notes, types, organize information. Pretty cool, right? We can reuse that card. If we go to the website, all the way down here, there is uh, an item here, uh, milestones and future plans. Uh, the three ones here with the dots, this is everything you can already do. And the other ones here are uh, future plans. And I'm really, looking forward this one here. Uh, you can easily search and manage your ideas using natural voice comments. I mentioned in the beginning what I like here is the fact that I can choose any of the capture options. I don't have to record a note and then on top of that add the other ones. It's convenient to record a note and, and the microphone is right there in the middle. I, I, I like that, but I, I really like the fact that I can, for example, tap the plus menu and take a picture of a book cover. And on top of that, one thing that you know that I'm not really 
super fan of is the daily node feature on Obsidian. I, I, I don't really use that. I kind of use it. I try to use it. Uh, you know that, right? But since I started trying this app, I've been using that much more because <laughs> I can send information from Idea Show to Obsidian. And it's so easy to add that to a to an existing node to an existing uh, daily node. So I've been trying that. I don't know if I'll keep doing that, but if you are a daily node type of person, and if you like to capture information like this, pictures and typing, maybe you should try this app. You'll find the links in the description below. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.